Most of you probably don't know me. My name is Ross and I'm actually a psychology student at Help University. So studying psychology, of course, I can read everybody's mind. I know what everybody is thinking of right now. Is my hair real? Isn't it? Isn't it? How many of you are thinking the question? Is my hair real? Okay, very good, very good. Very good. Uh, you, yeah, you know, you don't touch my hair. My hair touches you. Uh, <laughs> now, a lot of people ask me. Everybody always ask me. Hey, Ross, Ross, really? Uh, your hair original, uh, original. Of course, not uh, original. Then what? Cheta rompa. Hello, please. My hair is real, okay? This is not fake hair. If you want fake, please go to parliament. Now, please pay attention. Uh, my hair is 100% waterproof, shockproof, fireproof. And I push it down, soundproof also, again. Okay? Now, a lot of people don't believe me. You know, even after this, I bet all of you are going to come out. It's, it's original, it's original, 100% real. Uh, different races in Malaysia, the Chinese, Indian, Malay, they react very differently to my hair. The Indians are getting confused. They say, hey, you Africa or India? Face like Indian hair like Africa, not very sure. Then the, the Malays will come up to me and they'll say, Wow, Eliket, Eliket, Wow, Arungum, Anna Arungum. Sampai kanlah salam, cinta ku kepadanya. I think that is a round of applause. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No, la, I'm not Arugam Sana, not related to him. And then the Chinese, now Chinese are a bit more funnier. Especially Chinese children. Chinese children. Now, whenever I'm walking, I'm just walking. The walking Chinese kids will be like, hey, mommy, daddy, nikan, nikan, pao cha to. Pao cha to, pao cha to. For those who don't speak Mandarin, uh, to means head and then pao cha means explosion. So basically, what they're saying is, hey, mommy, daddy, you see explosion head. Uh, yeah, it's very funny. It's very funny. People ask me a lot of questions. Always ask me, ask me questions. Especially, you know, uh, when 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 I'm when I'm when I go to the toilet. Oh, sorry, I notice. I don't even talk. Now, ladies, when you go to the toilet, all the ladies here. When you go to the toilet, what do you do? You touch up, make up, arrange the hair, and all that, right? Guys also do the same thing. We just don't admit it. Uh, just that we focus more on the hair, lah. Like, focus more on the hair. So guys, always in the bathroom, show like this one. Stare at the mirror. Look at the mirror now. Straight hair is a bit boring, so they take the gel. They gel the hair. They spike the hair. Spike, spike, spike. So sharp, so sharp. If the chicha falls, the chicha will die. The chicha will die. Very sharp, very sharp. But my hair is okay. The chicha falls, it bounce, bounce, bounce. Find a wife, find a family. Very chicha friendly environment. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you take care of your hair? How do you prepare your hair? You know, I, I, I very, very stressful one to prepare my hair. Have to wash, put water, you know, put shampoo, wash the shampoo, put the conditioner, wash the conditioner, bring the hair dry. The hair dry is like the tornado kind. And then I have a comb as well, the comb that I keep here. Comb, 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 comb. And then I'm also a musician. Now you see, now you don't. Now, <laughs> after combing, 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 prepare my hair, I tell you, the amount of time it takes for me to prepare my hair probably lasts longer than most marriages in Malaysia. Quite unfortunate, quite unfortunate. But you know, it's okay, it's okay. The only marriage is longer than my hair is Indian marriage. Are you Indian marriage? Minimum two weeks, minimum two weeks. Call the priest, look at the star, bring the goat, kill the goat. You know, just get permission, touch the girl's hair. Touch only, touch only. See, there's a problem with Indian events. Now, most of you are Chinese, so I explain a bit about Indian culture. Indian too. They will understand. Let's say I'm the birthday boy. Now, Indian events sure got dancing. The birthday boy is dancing. Na, 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 na. Now, all the beautiful Indian girls are surrounding him. All the one Punjabi suit, sorry, all beautiful sexy girls. Oh, no, 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 no. But the birthday boy cannot even touch. Cannot even touch. You know why? Cousin, sister, auntie's niece, mother's daughter, all related. Cannot touch, cannot touch. That's why now I understand. Now I understand why Indians like to go after Chinese. And Chinese like to go after Indians. And Malays. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Must make fun of the, must make fun of everybody. All Chinese normally are fun of everybody. Now, let me tell you a story. I, I was recently going to Indonesia, uh, came back from Indonesia. Now, how many of you have been to Indonesia? How many of you been to Indonesia here? Yeah. Indonesia is a beautiful country, thank you. Uh, now, Indonesia is a beautiful country. The way they drive there is very different from Malaysia, if you notice. Especially the motorcycles. The motorcycle, a lot of motorcycles. Shoo, 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 everywhere. I cannot even cross the road in Indonesia. So, I'm looking at the Indonesians, how they cross. And this is how they, they just walk. Just walk only. So I was like, oh, okay, I just walk, walk only. Then I realized the difference. See, in Indonesia, the motorcycles, they slow down and they avoid you. In Malaysia, the motorcycles, they will slow down and they rob you. Now, <laughs> this is really quite unfortunate, but unfortunately, this happens. Now, earlier I was saying about marriage, la, Indian, la, everybody wants to be Indian, la, everybody wants to be Indian. Uh, you know, it, it's very funny being a, a comedian in Malaysia. People always ask me opinions, you know, what this, what that, what that, everything. And so I'm also part, partly a, a magician as well, so I want to do a little bit of magic trick. So I need to know, now all of you know each other, I'm assuming all of you know each other. Can you please nominate a volunteer to come on stage? Uh, who is the bravest young man here? The bravest young man, please. If you don't nominate, I'm going to be brave young man, brave young man. I need a brave young man to join me on stage. Anybody, anybody, call out the name, call out the name, faster, faster. Uh, they will, uh, they will, they will come. David, David, very good. Give David a round of applause. He's so brave. He's loving the case. 
Very dangerous, right? When you join a magician on stage. Now, David, 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 I want you to just, just answer this very simple question for me. David, did you brush your teeth today? No. You didn't brush your teeth, huh? <laughs> David, no, David, no, no, David. Okay, is he drunk or idiot? Yes. It's real. It's real, but you didn't believe, is it? Chanda, Chanda, Chanda. Okay. Right. So, David, did you brush your teeth today? Yes, yes, yes. You brush your teeth. Sure, not. You want to believe it or not? No, okay. So, what, 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 I am a flower here. What flower is this? Are you a flower? No, oh, very good. Red color is not. This flower is going to tell us whether or not you brush your teeth. Okay? You, you, test. you just wash the flower and you will tell whether or not. Okay, so David, you hold, hold the mic. So what I want David to do is, David's going to smile. David, smile. David, give a best smile. Very good. Can you, can you just blow? Just blow like that. Blow. Are you? <laughs> David, oh, are you? This one never brushed it, man. Are you, David? How can you do that? I think you need help, I think you need help. Can I get a young lady? Wait, stay, 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 stay. Wait, I'm not done with you. A young lady, the one in the orange dress there. Pretty young lady, can you please stand up? Please stand up, please stand up. Please stand up. Now, you're a bit fast, so you mean to, uh, you mean to blow the air a bit further, okay? So you just stand up, stand up, stand up. Get full, okay, very good. Now, she showed you an example, you know? She's, I think she can do it. Okay, what's your name, miss? No, no, just stand there, stand there, stand there. Ah. Serene. Serene, give Serene a round of applause. Serene's gonna do magic tonight. Serene, can you give me your best smile, Serene? Smile? <laughs> Okay, can you give a blow? Just blow. Oh my gosh. Serene is obviously very good at blowing. Thank you, Serene. Please sit down. Please. David, I think you need to learn how to blow from Serene. Please, 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 please. No, no, this one, David, you must do it, must do it. Now, David, are you, wait, wait, I'm not done with you, David. You're, you're, you're leaving. I better, I better do some more with you. Okay, now, I want you to sit on this chair. Sit on this chair. Okay, very good, very good. Now, what I'm going to do is very simple. I have... In my hand, can you hold this? Show everybody, show everybody. everybody. What is David holding? Hold it, hold it, show everybody. What is David holding? He's holding a tissue. Is it tissue? Tissue, tissue. Open it, open it, open it. Open it, open it a little bit. What is he holding? He's holding a tissue, tissue, tissue. tissue. yes. Tissue, very good. Okay, so what you do is David, you're going to be a magician today. You're going to help me make the tissue disappear. Okay, thank you, David, thank you. You're very energetic, uh, David. It's okay, let me do the work you just sit down. Uh, I'm going to make, the, uh, David is going to make this tissue disappear, but he doesn't know how he's going to do it. So all I'm going to, I'm going to put it in my hand like this. Okay, David, can you open your hand? Open your hand like this now. Everybody watch carefully. You watch your hand very carefully. I'm just going to go close, close a bit. I'm just going to go one, two, three. And when I say, uh, when David says three, the tissue is going to disappear. Okay, David, watch carefully. Okay, watch very carefully. David, you count one, two, three. I'll just go one, two, three. Count. Everybody watch carefully, okay? Ready, uh? Ready, uh? Watch, uh? You count one, two, three. Okay, count okay, okay, okay. I put it in my hand. Watch, uh? Not in uh, my sleeve. In the hand, in the hand, in the, uh, in the hand, in the hand. <laughs> okay, very good, David. Okay, you get ready to count. Okay, yeah. ready? One. Two, three! <laughs> Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, one round of applause for David, the magician! <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not. Please, please keep walking. Please, please go back. Please go back. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Okay, okay. Now, uh, that was just a little bit of magic. Lah. Just a little bit, little bit, little bit. Let me tell you more about my life stories and the comedy. I recently, unfortunately, got into a car accident. And you know, I must talk a bit about car accident. Because car accident in Malaysia is a very, very funny one. But before that, let me talk about the policemen in Malaysia. Policemen are even more interesting. Now, most of you probably been stopped by a roadblock before. How many of you can a roadblock before? Can stop? I'm Indian. Confirm, see my face. They will stop me one. Always think I'm getting drugs. No, no. Actually, in, 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 drugs in Malaysia is becoming a big issue. Like weed. You know, weed. What is what? Marijuana. Weed, weed, weed all. Anybody smoke? Yeah, I don't know. Don't don't worry, don't worry. You can tell me. I have my own secret stash. Yeah. So weed is not a drug, huh? Weed is a plant. So you are not a drug dealer. You are a florist. Please tell anybody who asks you. Now, so so when the police stop me, they always standard police question. Now, if you are if you want to make fun of the policeman, you can have fun with him as well. So you ask you put down the window, put down the window. Okay, put down the window. So you ask you standard question. Ah, dari mana ni? And then you tell him lah. Dari belakang lah, cik. Then he ask you. Ah, pergi mana ni? Ah, di depan lah, cik. And then he ask you, apa masalah kau, Inche? Uh, no, uh, please don't do that again. Okay? Summon 300, not my fault. Now, but this is a true story, true story. Uh, ma my mother's friend, she was speeding on her. Speeding, speeding. Never wear seatbelt, never wear seatbelt. So, of course, the policeman stop her. Uh, policeman stop her. Now, this woman, uh, speeding, never wear seatbelt, she always can think of excuse one to get out of somewhere. Always, always think of excuse one. So, she's doing, she's speeding, she stop. Okay, the policeman coming. Uh, okay, kakak, uh, apa masalah? Apa excuse awak sekarang? And then she's thinking, thinking, thinking. What can I say? What can I say? What can actually... Actually, Inche, Inche, don't lie. Actually, I minta maaf, Inche, minta maaf. You know, you know why I never wear seatbelt. You know why I never wear. Actually, take take saya bengka. Aduh, sakit. Aduh, sakit. Nak pakai tak di pinggang. Sakit, sakit. Dunia kiamat. Dunia kiamat. Sakit, titi bengka. Apparently, he laugh, 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 laugh. Saya pergi lah, pergi lah. 
So please, all the women here, if you want to get a speeding ticket, they take a Please, I told this joke before, and unfortunately, my friend heard it, and he thought he can use it. He's a boy, he's quite stupid. Like. He's a bit, he's so blurred, the haze is clearer than his brain. Now, uh, so he said, in check, in check, take, take, sire, bang, kak. Then he gave him 300 summon, they came to me, Ross, I got 300 ring summon, why is this new work? I said, yeah, you Chinese boy, you stupid, I got no tete, your chest is so flat, Air Asia can land aeroplane. I'm joking, I'm joking, Air Asia cannot land aeroplane, Air Asia always delayed 3 hours. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I say aeroplane, every serious, serious, serious. Okay, I won't be making fun of that, that's a sensitive issue, don't worry about that. Please keep the family's family mystery empty in your prayers, in your condolences. As a magician, I think it's socially responsible, I should inform you all about that. And uh, you know, keep on talking about uh, Malaysian policemen and the troubles they give us. And I saw this accident one day, accident on the road, all over highway, federal highway. Saw an accident. So I was like, oh my gosh, quite sad, la, quite sad. But I'm a comedian. I like to see the accident, I like to observe what people do. So the first person to come to accident is the policeman. Policeman come, policeman come. Okay, policeman see the dead body, see the dead body. Then policeman not very sure what to do, not very sure. Now, usually when you see a dead body, you put your fingers here at the neck or you put at the wrist here. So you can feel the Ah, that's very good. The Malaysian policeman can kind of touch, touch all haram, haram, cannot touch, cannot touch. So, Malaysian people go, you go see the body, you give a kick, bam, like that. Now, logically speaking, if the body gets out and walks, it's alive, lah. In, in this case, it stayed there, lah, so it must be dead. So, Malaysian policeman go. Then, the Indian man come, Indian man, are you Indian man full of drama? See, dead body, are you, Allah, oh, Oppa, cousin, brother, cousin, sister, hunting, mother, mother, cry, 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 pray to 152 different gods. And then, uh, then he will also go. Then the Chinese man, I tell you, Chinese people always think how to make money, how to make money, how to make Chinese people always thinking how to make money, how to make money. Chinese people analyze, see dead body, see dead body, take out, take, take camera, take picture, shh, send to Xinjiu daily, take 50 ringgit, pow. Go to the car, take a four digit number, one, two, three, four, send to grandmother, go play sports, toto. Chinese man know how to make money. Now, really, it's true, it's true. Now, then I ask as a comedian, nowadays, law, snatch the fries, right? snatch the people, steal bags, steal wallets, steal money. So I thought as a comedian, you know, how can we be more careful about our money. So I have my wallet here and then I asked my Chinese friend, you know, how you keep how you keep your money? How you keep your money? So he said, don't worry, don't worry. For for magician one, very easy one. This is how magicians keep the money. So let's say if your snatch tip is coming, you just open your wallet. Now open your wallet as you see the snatch tip approaching, don't worry, if you are a magician, it's okay, your money will be safe. You just set your wallet on fire. <laughs> <laughs> when there's a wallet on fire, people will clap. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now usually I know you're waiting for something even more incredible than a wallow on fire. It's okay, it's okay. So I got a 10 ringgit here. Then I thought to myself, ah, I don't know, this wallow on fire very hard to do and very hard to do. So I decided, you know, let, let me try a faster way to hide my money. So I took the 10 ringgit and I rolled it up. I wrote it down and I said, how, how can I hide this money in a faster way so a snatch thief cannot steal from me? Okay, so I'm going to show you all the first time in Malaysia, in Olive Room, Banda, Utama, One World Hotel. I'm going to show the first time you see this match trick. Now, when I move my hand, you just say one, two, three. Okay, ready? Everybody together, can we practice? Huh? One. No, no, not loud enough. Some more loud, some more louder. One, two, three. It's gone. It's gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Best way to keep money. Nobody can find this one. Need to take magic one and take out. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That magic trick only I can do, uh, nobody else can do. Trademark, trademark. Now, then, then, then on the side, then on the side, and then, uh, yes, 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 yes. I've also got another magic trick. Now, for this final magic trick, is a bit more special. I need you all to nominate someone in Omron who can dance very well. Anybody here who knows how to dance? Dancers, any dancers? Please, please bring them up on stage. If you don't come, push them on stage. Take out your camera, please record, so this one will be embarrassing him for the rest of his life. Okay. Who is that? Why you never wear black colour, are you? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name again? Jackson. Jackson. Give him Jackson a round of applause. He doesn't realise it yet, but he's about to make a complete fool of himself. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Sure. Okay, just wait for a while. I need to give the DJ my music. Okay, DJ. This one, you just click the play button lah. Okay, now, Jackson, how much do you know about dancing? What kind of dancing do you do? Uh, oh, it's not a type of dance. Uh, try again. Uh. I'll ask you again. Uh. You don't understand English, is it? Okay, I understand. Okay. What? What? I'm so mean. I'm sorry, Jackson. What kind of dancing do you do? Uh, popping? Popping. Uh. What is this popping? Show me how to pop. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, I popped my head also for now. Okay, 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 okay. We won't do topic. Uh, because I am more culturally Indian, so I'm going to teach you the Indian kind of dance. You know what's the Indian dance called? It's called Bangra. Bangra. You go here or not? Go Bangra before? You know how to do? Don't know. Never mind, I'll teach you, I'll teach you. Bangra very important, can take back our history, our history of Bangra. In World War One. the Chinese, the Indians and the Malays all got captured. And then during the World War, they escaped and then the Indians all die. Why? Because got the Bhutu here, shoot, 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 die. Indians very sad, very sad. World War Two a bit better. Chinese, Indian, Malay, all the Indians survive. You know why? Because Indians learn how to move the head. <laughs> they cannot shoot already. Mm. So we're going to learn that. The first one is, can you move by? We, we practice first, then we put the music. We practice first, huh? can you move the head or not? Move, move. Can you move, move, move. Move some more. Lah. Oh, not bad. not bad. Okay, then the next one is you must fix the light bulb. You pretend got light bulb and you fix, fix the light bulb, fix. Ah, oh, cool. this one very good. And now in India, the light bulb on the circle, so you must move. Wow, not bad. You want strip show at Chowkid Road, is it? <laughs> uh, uh, then the next one is the washing the clothes. Wash the clothes. Wash the clothes. Wash the clothes. Can you wash? Very good. Not bad. Then can you go the forward one? Then the backward one? Okay, not bad. I think it's going to be a good participant. Okay, give him one more round of applause. They're going to be starting our dancing magic. So, so everything that I dance, he must follow me. Okay. Louder, louder. Thank you, God bless you all, have a great dinner, thank you.